What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video and today we are talking about joysticks, how to swap this joystick from an 8-way joystick to a 4-way joystick. Now if you took a look at the whole before you buy a Game Case Arcades or any arcade, um, there is a point in the video that I do talk about joysticks and how many customers are not a fan of the joysticks, especially when they play Pac-Man. Pac-Man, again, is a game that was using a four-way joystick. I'm gonna take you closer in the joysticks, but again, I'm gonna basically show you real quick how to change or convert your eight-way joystick into a four-way joystick. Now, luckily, we do have two arcades ready to go. We have Antonio's Arcade, which is perfect for my example for the LED joystick. Again, these joysticks came right from Game Room Solutions. So we're gonna be talking about the LED joystick and we're also gonna be talking about the Zippy joystick. Again, these are the most common two. Usually each joystick, no matter which one you get, have this, but some joysticks that you get might not have this plate. If your joystick does not have this certain plate, you won't be able to convert it. Um, for example, um, I believe the Street Fighter II Tournament Edition does not have this plate. So if you specifically bought like a control panel for a certain game, it might not have the plate because that control buttons were set up for that specific game. This again is usually the most common one that Ryan from Game Room Solutions give you. Again, we're gonna take a closer look. I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm gonna talk behind the camera, I'm gonna show you what exactly I'm talking about. Again, we're gonna be switching a eight-way joystick to a four-way joystick. Here we go. Okay guys, so we're gonna first look at the LED joystick. This again is the LED joystick from Game Room Solutions. Again, once you flip it over, you look at the bottom of it, this is your plate here, okay? Again, most controllers, have this plate for example the other one we're gonna look at the zippy there's a plate here but for right now we're gonna look at the led one there's four clips on this plate basically you just kind of squeeze it so basically again this is the plate that is underneath the joystick okay this is the plate there's always a plate unless you have a different type of joystick but there's usually a plate here now this here is usually this right here will go into the joystick basically this has two acrylic prongs sticking up uh, and basically here's how it goes you take this right here and this you could basically push this in upwards see this you push it upwards but be careful not to break it and basically there's little um there's little grooves here you can see it right here i have a groove here there's one that's already in there and then there's another one so basically we're just going to push this forward and then we spin the groove push forward and spin boom clicked in now we have a four-way joystick i could push it back now we have an eight-way joystick that's all it is every plate every joystick has a plate again this is the led this actually will come out you can take that apart but it's pretty cool it actually has the grooves already set in other joysticks do need a screw you have to unscrew which we're going to look at the zippy one now but basically, again, you push in, we're set to four-way, uh, we're set to eight-way, I'm sorry, this is eight-way, spin it one more time, four-way. Anytime you see the diamond, it's a four-way. This right here, if I spin it, this is a square now, eight-way. There you go. This right now is a four-way joystick. You see the diamond, so up, down. So again, I'm not hitting that corner, whereas this one, player two, is set up eight way see that eight way i'm not really a fan of this because in all honesty oh no it does let go if you listen carefully it is actually letting go of that this right now is a four-way joystick right now see that one two three four four way so i can't do uh you know nine o'clock of uh, two o'clock so if i was doing street fighter i can only go up down left right i would never be able to flip forward Whereas this again is an eight way joystick. Again, same thing. This is the LED controller. You take out the four clips, you push them in together, you pull the plate out. And then again, on this one specifically, you gotta just push this towards you and then you spin. It's literally like a dial. This right here will spin. That's it. That's how you do a eight way to four way joystick on the LED joysticks. For this one, we're gonna take a look at the zippy joystick. This again is the zippy joystick. Again, there's usually always a plate underneath the joystick. Some people notice the plate, some people don't. 
but again there's always a plate right underneath the joystick again if you look very carefully the plate this is the controller right there this is what your controller is and basically the plate is going to either let you freely move or if you look carefully at the four-way you can kind of see if i can focus you see the little bit of the lip here see that the lips that's going to block it for right now the eight-way does not have that lip see that i could go eight-way on this now for the zippy one this one you do need a screwdriver basically it's going to be two screws that's all you should really take out is two screws be very careful taking this out if you take out all the screws the whole thing will come apart your four buttons will then fall out and now you just messed up everything so again there is two screws here i'm going to do it real quick let me put down the camera so we took the two screws out now the plate is free to move right now the joystick is set to eight way okay if you actually look very carefully it looks like this certain controller for the zippies there's actually three way i'm going to pull this out that's our face plate see that that's the plate that's what i'm saying that you have to take the plate out the one right by my index finger that is four way in the middle eight way and then it looks like at the bottom this joystick could actually do one way one or technically two way basically there are grooves inside of these and basically you just line up the groove with the hole that right now looks like a one way you can't go left right or down you could only go up so look at that that's a one way the way it was really was eight way so that's right in the middle and again as you can see the eight way now, if I bring it down to the four-way, sorry, going to do this with one hand. I should put down the screws. Going to do this with one hand, but if we line up the grooves now, look at that, four-way. See that? Right where my finger is, that groove right there is going to block out going diagonal, making Pac-Man work perfectly. Pac-Man will work beautiful on a four-way joystick. Again, with that little groove, see this? it won't really click. It's not gonna click the button. Whereas if I do the eight way, it's giving me the space to click. So there you have it. Again, as far as the zippies, you don't wanna unscrew these. Don't touch these because then the whole plate will come out, the buns will come out, it'll be a nightmare. Always there's a plate that you have to take out. Again, we are gonna keep these as eight ways. And there you have it four way to eight way most controllers all joysticks most joysticks i'm gonna say 90 percent of them will have a face plate and that's how you change it so we're going to load up street fighter i got four way on this side eight way on this side ryu on the left if i go here i'm hitting a diagonal and i can't i can't get into flip again i'm hitting a diagonal i'm going backwards again diagonal I can't, I can't do it. Again, this is set to four way. So again, my diagonal right now is blocked. It won't be able to hit it. It's not gonna hit the diagonal. Whereas if I can, I'm able to do it. See, easy, one, two, see? Whereas Ryu, I can't. I'm hitting diagonal and it's not going. Again, this is how you go from four way to eight way. So again, the four way joysticks will work great with Pac-Man. Luckily for Antonio, his control panel, you could literally just push these three clips down and switch, whereas the other one, we do have to unscrew it, but definitely you can see it right there. I can't hit, I cannot hit the spin. I'll be able to hit a Hadouken though. I might not be able to actually. Yeah, I can because it's down right, but I just can't hit diagonal. Unless I do up and right, up and left, I can't. Nope, there you go. Four way, that's, what compare, that's how you compare a four way to an eight way joystick. So again, I right now, four way joystick is impossible for Street Fighter, but it's good for Pac-Man. There you guys have it. There's your examples. We're going from four-way to one-way to eight-way. You guys pick it. It's easy to convert once you know how to do it. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you guys later. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades.